Hello, it's Melissa with Miller's Rustic Sawmill here in King City, Missouri. I am hopping on the Essential Stencil page tonight to do a little bit of painting. I'm going to give it a few minutes and see who hops on. Whenever you come on, say hi. Let me know that you're on and that you're watching and that you've joined. Um, tell me where you're watching from. And um, we'll get started here as soon as I know some people are on and I can see some comments. And I know I've got a little bit of an audience. So uh, when, if you're hopping on uh, and it's your first time watching, let us know. Let me know that you're a first time and it's the first time that you've watched one of my videos on here. Um, okay, there's some comments. Hi, Lori. Hi, Deb. And there's Randy Noble. Hi, Randy. How are you tonight? It is Tuesday evening. It's nice out. Hopefully some of you are not busy on a Tuesday night. Hi from Florida. Hi Penny. Hello, hello. There's some people hopping on. Awesome. Thanks for hopping on tonight to watch what we're going to paint for you. There's Dana Sansone. Hi Dana. Hi Julie. Hi Courtney. You're from Missouri. Uh, Julie, you're also from Missouri. We are in um, Northwest Missouri is where we sit up here, um, just maybe about 35 minutes northeast of St. Joseph, Missouri, in a little town called King City. That's where we are. I know, no pigtails, Tony. <laughs> ah, I was out doing some other stuff today and my hair was not in braids, so I am in work clothes, like real work clothes. So, hi Carol, hi Judy. Are you on? Hi, Deidre. Betty, hello, hello. Thanks for watching, you guys. I am uh, going to be using one of the fall stencils tonight on a porch board. And um, I'm actually going to be using one, I think, that kind of gets overlooked. Uh, it's uh, the Hello Autumn. And if you saw the link um, that you are getting invited with or the um, link in the top of the video, there's also a code in there. So if you're new to Essential Stencils, you can always use that link and you can save 10% on an order. Um, all you have to do, I think, is tap on the link and it'll take you to order. So if you haven't used their stencils before, um, definitely you're gonna wanna give them a try. They have changed some things um, for our business and some things that I'm able to do um, because of having this reusable stencils. So uh, sometimes people ask if they are reusable stencils and they absolutely are. So hi Stacy, I'm trying to read your whole comment. Dang it. I, it, they all go by so fast and I do go back and read them just so you guys know. Um, sometimes there's like over 2,000 comments or something, and I do try to read all of them. So uh, if you're commenting and you don't see me uh, responding, just know that I, I will see it and I do see them. Um, so if you're hopping on and you haven't ever watched any of uh, my videos, definitely let me know if you're a first time watcher. Um, Essential Stencil is so gracious to let people, uh, have people come on and do tutorials using their stencils and show them off. And um, a lot of times that turns uh, some things around for some people who are trying to make an extra income with some crafts. So uh, if you are one of those people, uh, you definitely do want to check out their stencils. So um, hi, Barbara. I see you. Hi, Marie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are climbing up there with people on. And uh, I am... I can't do it. <laughs> you can't get on? Really? No. Did you refresh it? Um, I am stenciling on the other side of this tonight. I have the spooky board that I did a couple weeks ago, I think. And so I'll show that off too because I finally finished my glitter on it. So if you watched that one, um, you'll get to see the finally, you know, the final product of that tonight because um, I will flip it up and show you as soon as I get done. Um, we are doing a giveaway tonight for the Hello Autumn. Um, Tammy, you are a first time watcher. That's awesome. Um, Jill Carlucci. I don't know if I said that right. Maybe I did. You're a first time watcher. 
That's awesome. Sorry, I'm checking something out real quick. Um, who else is a first time watcher? Kelly Wingard, you're a first time watcher. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, Trisha. I know that I've seen you on before. I see a lot of names on here. Um, if you're hopping on, um, throw me some hearts. Let me know that you're on. Let me see some likes and make sure you guys are sharing this video. Um, the more you share, the more people come on and the, the more people get to see this video. So hopefully um, the stenciling tips and the things I'm gonna show you tonight will change some things for you or help you. Um, maybe if you're a first time stenciler, maybe you'll learn something too. So um, I always try to uh, make sure that um, I'm giving some kind of tips and that somebody learns something. So you guys are usually also gracious to share tips yourself. And um, that is just what it's all about, is uh, helping each other along. And um, I have started with the Hello Autumn. That is the stencil we're gonna be giving away tonight too. So if this essential stencil, this is the quality of their stencils. I know you can't really see that on your end, but you can see I'm kind of bending this. It's pretty bendable, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it comes in some super awesome packaging. And they come with um, these black, heavy type cardboard like almost pieces in them to keep them nice and straight in the mail, too. And so, this is something that I have reused um, several different ways. I keep these uh, out of our packages that I order, and I divide my stencils up with them sometimes. I use them as dividers. Sometimes, hi Kimberly, um, I also, sometimes if I'm being lazy, I sometimes use them to cover up something else that I don't want to stencil, just as a quick uh, thing instead of taping it off. So I kind of use it as a blocker for my stenciling sometimes too. So those are handy to keep, so don't throw them away. Um, I know that we, I suggest, and I think Essential Stencils suggest also, that you um, put your stencils back in the packaging after you are done using them. You wanna clean them. And um, I typically clean mine with a uh, disinfectant wipe. Uh, I get mine at the Dollar General, and um, I clean them, try to keep them cleaned after I use them. They're much easier to clean after, uh, you know, if you go ahead and clean them after you're done using them instead of letting them set. I've done that as well, so I'm not gonna lie about that, um, but it doesn't make them too much fun once you've let them set for a while. You wanna take care of your stencils. Um, they are uh, you know, something that you will be able to reuse and reuse over and over if you take care of them. Yes, their mailers are very protective. And then they also have um, all of these neat little uh, booklets in their stencil packages, and they give you tips on stenciling um, it talks about farmhouse style signs, and they walk you through exactly how to do it in here as well. So that's handy, you wanna keep those if you don't have those. Um, I have several. So Debbie, you just got a three and a half inch alphabet in the mail, that's awesome. Um, well, I'm gonna show you uh, I, something that uh, I'm gonna start with tonight. Um, I don't know if you can see this yet, I'm gonna pull my board out just a little bit. Are you what? No. Um, Give me one second. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I go to the. You're right. I don't know. I'm sorry, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, so I didn't disappear, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so what I am gonna show you, a, a tip for picking out paint colors. Um, a lot of times whenever I hop on here, I just have everything picked out and I don't always talk about um, the paint colors. So um, something that I wanted to show you is sometimes I get out several of my paints. Um, so I set them out and then I will take off the lids and I kind of look at the lids and um, I try to just kind of put them together the way that I think I want them. So tonight um, with this, what I have done is I have, um, I'm gonna do each letter of autumn a different color. And so I went and I just kind of pulled some fall colors out 
shook them up really well and um, then I took the lids off just to kind of see if they're all in the same tone and the same um, you know level of brightness just to kind of keep them all kind of like that because I wanted them just to kind of look like a fall um, autumn board so I'm going to use each letter is going to be a different color and so if you take the lids off I'm on. Awesome! He's on! He's on! He figured it out all by himself. Good job. Yay. So yeah, he was having some technical difficulties. I was no help. Um, but he, my husband is on and he is, um, he will see your comments. He'll have to catch up, but um, he will see your comments. And I see we have like over 400 people Hi, on. Hi everybody. So that is maybe a record for us. I don't know if we've hit 400 people on before. Maybe we have. But um, if you haven't shared, feel free to share. Um, the more uh, people on, the better our video is going to do too. So, um, and the more people get tips for stenciling. So, everyone's going to say hi to Bucky now that he is he can see. So that is also who picks the winners. Um, a lot of times I tell people if you're first, if you're the first ones, if it's your first time watching on here. Um, a lot of times people want to know, how do we pick the winners? How do I win? Um, we want to see your comments. Uh, we want to see that you're on. We want to see that you are um, here and that you are watching. And so we pick winners towards the end of the video. So hopefully you can stick around. I always talk way too much, I know. So I'm going to try to stencil tonight and not talk as much so that we don't have like a two hour video. A lot of times, my videos go for like two hours. So um, I just enjoy talking to you guys. And um, anyway, but my husband is the one that picks the winners. He watches the comments. Um, so feel free to uh, give him all kinds of funny comments, nice comments, whatever you wanna do. And uh, he'll see those. And we have a lot of fun with that sometimes. So. Um, he will see those, but yes, we will pick three winners who are going to win the Hello Autumn stencil. And um, like I showed you, it comes with these bonus leaves. And these leaves are uh, also in here, so you can use those for different projects too. And I have pulled off the caps. So you can see here, I have kind of played with the letters. I have arranged them in a way that I think is going to look really good. And um, if I wanted to mix them up, um, you know, I could just take these lids. So if you're using different colors on your stencils, sometimes um, just play around, pull off your lids, look at the lid of your paint, and you can kind of move them around on your board even to see how they flow. Or um, Judy, it's your first time watching. That is awesome. Um, I'm welcome. I'm, we are in King City, Missouri, so thank you for watching. Uh, we own Miller Rustic Sawmill. I don't know. Can somebody tell me if my apron is still backwards? It's still backwards. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Nelva says if you didn't talk so much, we would think something was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Shauna, if you're going to order stencils, make sure that you use the link and you save 10%. It'll save you 10% on your order. So, um Joanne says it's her birthday. You'll probably you'll you'll see those comments. Yeah. Um, oh, Rose, you got to go to bed. Ah, oh, well, hopefully you can watch the replay. So um, I am reading your comments, but so here's what I'm doing. I am I took off all my paint lids. So you guys, I have tonight. I'm using pure orange, which is this one is a folk art paint. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know if Walmart carries folk art brand, but it's just called Pure Orange. This is a really good red that I use. I saw Lacey is on too. So, and Dana. And Dana, yeah. I saw Dana and I just saw Lacey. Um, this is flamenco red. I use this red quite a bit. It's a really good red and it's called flamenco, not flamingo, but it, flamenco with a C. And this is Apple Barrel. And I'm going to also be using Kelly. It's your first time watching. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, another first time. There's a lot of first time watchers on here tonight. Fantastic. I'm Melissa from Miller Trustic Sawmill. We are in King City, Missouri. And I'm going to do a porch board sign tonight for you guys. And I'm doing a little bit of different colors of paint on it. 
Uh, this is Anita's and it is um, dark plum. So should be cooking dinner, but she'd rather watch our video instead. Yeah. Awesome. I know there's a time difference between many of us, several of you across the, the United States. So um, thank you for uh, making your later nights later if you're watching. So stick with us. Um, this is also Tuscan teal. I pulled a blue color out for my um, autumn sign too. I'm going to mix it in. And then this is called terracotta. So um, I think I can send this list if you would like to get a list of the colors that I'm using tonight. Um, I can submit that to Essential Stencil maybe after the video and they might be able to send it out. I'm not going to speak for them because I don't know for sure. I think I'm supposed to send the list before, but we can, we can try it. So if you would like a list of the paints that I'm using, this is olive green. I've got one color for um, each letter of the word autumn. So first time from Jamestown, New York. Awesome, welcome, welcome. I hope you learn lots tonight too. No pressure, lots of new people on here. So I, you can see that I've got just my lids sitting down here. So I took, because I'm doing every letter a different color, I, um, I just decided that I would set them out and see how I wanted them to look. And I think I have them arranged the way I wanna paint them on my board. So I could, but I could move my, you know, lids around and see if I like something better if I want to. So I am going to stick with what I've got. I've got the orange, then I'm going to do red, and then I'm going to do the blue and the purple, and then I'm going to do um, this terracotta and then this olive green. So um, I also have some different techniques for those of you that are first time watchers. Um, I'm going to, I position this on and I'm gonna tape it down with some masking tape. Um, I'm only using masking tape because it's what I have. Um, a lot of times I have painter's tape, so if you guys, I'm sure you know what painter's tape is, but I'm gonna just use some tape, and I'm gonna tape it down on my board where I think it looks good. I'm not measuring out anything. Um, and then I'm going to just, I. The stencils, I just butt them right up next to each other. They line up like that and they just butt up right next to each other. So if anyone asks why I'm using the white tape, it's only because I don't have any of the painter's tape right now. So um, I usually have it from Dollar General as well. And this is from Dollar General. We have a Dollar General here in our town. So a lot of times it's what's handy. How big is the board? How big is the board? It should be about I'm prepared a prepared tonight. It should five be foot. a five foot porch board. Somebody asked that. And eleven inches wide. Would it be best to start with the alphabet letters? Somebody asked. Um, but before I forget, the size of the board is five foot by eleven inches. Most of our porch boards are five foot, and um, all of the. Uh, porch board signs that Essential Stencil makes will fit, a, they're made for a five foot porch board. So you're gonna want to uh, make sure, you know, I've, I think I've squeezed some on uh, some, a little bit smaller board, but um, they are made for five foot porch boards um, other than they have a, one of those measuring guides and those are six foot boards. So you, if you're ordering for uh, the, the measuring guide it's like a six foot measuring board you can make to measure your kids or your grandkids height um, those are for six foot boards but the rest are all made for five foot sherry you haven't tried your stencils yet get them out sherry put some paint on them don't be afraid um i'm running out of space to put all my work <laughs> Yeah. My husband is being such a good sport about it. Well, that's awesome. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for hopping on tonight. Um, so I've got this all taped down. And so since there's a lot of new people, Kim, Bailey, you want to know where do you go to get the stencils? Um, you can get, there's a link that I have in the top of my video. And you can click on that link and it'll take you right to um, an ordering site and you'll save 10%. So EssentialStencil.com, and um, if you want to save some money, you'll want to use my code um, and put that link in, or use that link to click and save 10%. So, um, let's see, let's see, Sue Ingalls, 
I want to get a stencil from your company so bad. I will eventually. Awesome. Yes, you will. Keep watching. Keep watching. Jimmy says you tried the roller method and you love it. That's what I'm going to do too. I'm going to use the roller method and I'm going to use the brush method and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to show you the makeup wedges. Um, so I'm going to get started so we can give some stuff away before our people have to go to bed. Oh, I lost that one. Yep. Okay. 11 inches wide too, somebody else. Okay. I think, did I say that? I think I did. Yeah, yeah. but somebody okay. was asking again. They okay. didn't miss it. All right. So the size of the board is five foot by 11 inches. Um, ours sometimes vary. It doesn't have to be 11 inches. That's just most of ours are made that wide. You could do 10. Um, I'm gonna grab a paper towel just in case. And I'm gonna start with the orange. And that's gonna be my first letter. You've been wondering about the roller method. Well, I like to use the roller on the big stencils. They're, it's my favorite. So. Um, the roller is from, I got one from Lowe's and I got one from Hobby Lobby. So, um, you can get one either place. It's a dense, heavy roller is kind of what it is. So you want to make sure it's, it's a heavy, thicker roller. And, um, the same with anything, whenever you are stenciling, you can see I barely put out any paint on my plate. So a lot of times people will just squish out a whole bunch of paint. You don't want to put out a whole bunch of paint because you're going to waste it. You do not need all of that paint. Um, if you're using brushes, if you're using uh, makeup wedges, or if you're using a roller, the key to not having all of the bleeding is to get paint. You don't want very much paint. You're going to offload your paint and you are going to um, also just take your time. So you're gonna do it slow, you're not gonna be in a hurry, you're gonna just try to take your time and, and move slowly. You can always layer uh, your paint over if you want a darker look. So um, the brushes, you guys, um, Essential Stencil has brushes. So a lot of you don't know that, but their brushes are amazing. And um, if you use my link, you can save on 10% from anything that you order from them. So just remember that. Um, but they're nice wood handles, they're comfortable. Um, these are just really thick, they're good quality. They're not gonna have little pieces flying out of them. Um, they, are, they are nice brushes. So, um, Kelly, I think you can uh, buy the boards at maybe in some of your local um, hardware stores like Home Depot and Lowe's or Menards. You can definitely, um, Go to a lumber yard if you don't have a lumber yard. We own a sawmill, so I have all of mine cut. I know not everybody has access to a sawmill, but maybe you have um, a sawmill around you, so you might do a little bit of research on that and check out their wood um, and just see if anything like that is around you. So um, I love the brushes, yes. I, I know, I didn't know actually for a while, whenever I first started using their senses, I didn't realize that, um, that they had brushes. And then whenever I got a set, I was just like, holy cow, that's amazing. So um, I have used cheap brushes. I have used the Hobby Lobby brushes. I have used um, the Walmart brushes. And um, I, these, are, these are great quality. These are much better. I would hands down probably not ever buy another stencil brush again So uh, from somewhere else. So I have these. And... Um, Okay, yes, you need the brushes if you don't have them. So I'm gonna show you with the first letter, um, I'm gonna use this orange. And if it's your first time ever using a brush, um, you've got different sizes. So um, just get them out and try them. Some of them, sometimes you're gonna like the brushes better than another technique. You just gotta practice. You gotta get your stencils out of the package. You gotta get some paint on them. Um, otherwise, you're never gonna know what you like. Um, Essential Stencil has enough videos on here that you can sit, you can re-watch my video, you can watch some of the other girls' videos, and you can do it right along with them and just kind of try out those techniques. But um, because I'm using, it's a larger stencil, the alphabet, um, first time watching from Rhode Island, hi Darlene. Um, I'm gonna use my bigger brush. So I'm using, this one is a 7 8 brush. 
and um hi brandy hi you guys that are just hopping on thanks for joining um i'm gonna offload this you can see right here i'm just swirling this around until there's hardly any paint on this at all right so you can see that hopefully above i'll put it above the comments um, in case you're not able to swipe off. So I hardly have any paint on this brush. And so I'm just gonna go over and I'm gonna do this swirling, this really light swirling method on my board and my stencil. And so you're gonna put, you're gonna find different pressures work for different people. So I'm just putting a little bit of pressure and I'm just swirling this around, um, just kind of like brushing it on my board. So it's just going on really light. I can always go back and I can pull a little bit more paint just from this edge right here. And I'm gonna swirl it around again too. So, um, and then I just lightly swirl over my letter here. And it, you can barely maybe see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's just barely going on, which is okay with me. I'm gonna take my time doing it because um, the brushes are not my, technique of choice for the larger stencils. I like to use the roller, but um, I wanted to show you guys that um, this works well um, and they do, they work really nice. They're not hard to use. Um, sometimes people can also do this pouncing method where you stipple up and down to cover. You can use that method as well. So um, I'm gonna get a little bit more paint and I'm just taking a little bit of paint at a time. You can maybe see I'm still swirling right outside of it. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna keep my finger kind of by my stencil to make sure it's held down. And I'm gonna just keep going in this little circle method that I'm doing. And I'm gonna just see how it looks. I'm gonna go over it lightly and then I'll go over it again. I'm gonna pull a little bit more paint. My board is not stained, it's just a natural wood board um sycamore. it's sycamore wood is what we have um maria i do use a foam roller also so um i'm looking at how many people are on there's almost 500 people on that's fantastic you guys um thank you for sharing the video so i'm pulling a little bit more paint i'm getting a little bit more paint loaded in my brush can't see it okay let me hold it up here a little bit and i'll show you I don't, I'm not good at moving my camera because I'm afraid it will fall. So you, you can see maybe here. Can you see that? So I'm gonna try to hold it down and I'm just going around and around and around in little circles and I'm gonna, gonna cover over my A. I'm gonna get a little bit more paint on there and then I'm gonna just go around and around like that. So you guys can see that maybe? Yes, you can swipe the comments away if you need to, to be able to see that. So um, just swipe to the right if you don't know. So I am just using orange for mine, my first letter. And so it doesn't go on um, real heavy with the brush, just so you know. And um, yeah, you could texture your accent leaves if you would like to. So. That's, um, you could do all kinds of things with those leaves if you would like. Um, I know I've seen some videos where some pe people do a lot of shading on the leaves and um, different things like that too, where you can paint lines in the leaves and just make them look really three-dimensional even. So the leaves that come in this packet are very versatile. Hi, Becky. You like, Sue says she likes the sponges best, but I can see how brushes would help. Yeah, the brushes, you know, I like the makeup sponges for the smaller spaces, um, like up here on the word hello that comes in this packet. I'll probably use my makeup sponge up there. Um, the brushes take a little longer. They take a little more patience. And um, I like to, you know, to let my paint dry. So I'm probably gonna let this orange dry um, and then I'll come back over it and it'll put a little bit heavier coat on so it stands out a little bit more. So if you haven't tried the brushes, just dive in, but don't put a lot of paint on there. Sometimes people make a, the mistake of putting like a ton of paint on their brush and you're gonna have bleed through whenever you do that. So you wanna make sure you swirl your brush, try it out on here, 
and just swirl it around on your plate or whatever it is that you're using to put your paint on or top load your paint. So um, that is my A for right now. I think I'm gonna leave it and call it good, but I just kind of done little bitty layers over it and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and I might come back over it. So um, I do have a little bit of water sitting here. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm gonna set my brush in the water so um, it doesn't dry on my brush. That's another thing with the brushes. You just wanna take good care of your brushes and not let the paint dry in them. You wanna clean them after you're done using them. And if you're not gonna be done with them for a little while, you wanna set them in some water. And um, someone said, oh, I see your comment, Jan. Um, my code, you can use my code anytime to order. It's not just tonight. So if you're not ready to order tonight um, and you wanna look tomorrow or the next day or the next day, you can do that too. So, and yes, someone said if you bounce or do the technique I was showing you, um, it's called like stippling. If you pounce your brush up and down, you're gonna get a different look too. So depending on what project you're doing, um, just make sure you know that you like how that looks. Take a practice board or take some craft paper and try some um, some different techniques on there. So um, I'm breaking up. Oh, I don't know why. Um, unless it's just because there's so many people on. They, mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully we're good. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm breaking up. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next letter and I'm gonna use um, some red. This is flamenco red. And you're welcome for the coupon code. Yes, definitely. Everybody likes to save a little bit of money. Um, so this is Flamenco Red. And I'm going to show you how that one works with, I'm going to use it on my U. And I'm going to do uh, the roller technique on here. So this is the roller. And you said, I'm excited to see this because you have bleeding on yours all the time. So I would tell you to slow down when you're stenciling maybe and just make sure that you're not using very much paint on whatever method that you're using. So just, um, and also sometimes, you know, I just take my hand and I just kind of hold my hand down around the stencil. So you didn't, Mary, you didn't miss the code. The code is in the top of, um, the video and the header. So you'll be able to find it there too. And I think we can probably post it again. So if you guys are wanting the code to order and save, um, I believe it's also, you can use MRS2019. So that's a code that you can plug in. It's, it stands for Miller's Rustic Sawmill 2019. So I do wash out my rollers, just like you would a normal paint roller. Um, I washed them out with soap and water. This one was stained a little bit and that's okay, but um, I do wash them and I do reuse them too, so as much as I can. So I also have very little paint on my roller and then with my roller, I'm just gonna roll over this letter just lightly, putting a little bit of pressure on it. I find that um, if you are doing any classes with other people um, and you're trying to kind of be done on a certain time frame, the roller allows for you to uh, move a little bit quicker and get your projects done on a, like a porch. If you were doing a porch board class, um, the roller would allow you to maybe get both sides done in two hours, as opposed to a brush. The brush does take more time. So just so you know, that's, that's a good tip for any of you that are wanting to do some classes with people and um, you know hold those classes this fall. Um, you can definitely, uh, I think, teach the technique of the roller um, is a little bit easier to teach than sometimes the brush. So just remember that. Um, I am just rolling this on. If you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm just going over it like you would with a normal, um, roller on your wall. It works the same way. It's just a dense sponge roller. And I totally like it for um, my big signs. I think it works really well on um, the bigger spaces. And I find that um, it doesn't take or require as much patience. So 
Joyce, the code you can use is MRS2019. So um, Miller's Rustic Sawmills, but MRS stands for, or Mrs. And um, then 2019. So yes, the roller um, does apply, I think, faster. So no, I didn't get this from Essential Stencil. I do think that um, maybe they are working on producing one eventually. I don't know when, but um, I think that that's something that they may have down the road on their site to order. So I'm I'm excited for that if they if they end up having that. Everything that they have is uh, is great quality. So um, hi Jody, you're watching from Missouri. Welcome. Um, okay, so I think I've about got my red one done. So I've got the orange and the red. Oh, Carrie, you've been using a lot of black and white and it turns out everyone loves it. That's awesome. I, I like the black and white. I think it's pretty versatile. You can't go wrong with that. Um, these also have, uh, so this head just pops right off like this. So this I can put in the water. I put it in the sink. I might soak it. I put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it. Um, and, and it'll wash right out. Acrylic paints are what I'm using, so they all come out. Summer, it's your first time watching. Welcome, thank you for watching tonight. Um, I feel like I'm talking fast <laughs> and a lot, but um, I see all these comments. There's a lot of new people on tonight, so I'm trying to kind of, what I'm trying to do is trying to show you guys some techniques that I have shown before for you newbies and um, all of you that have watched before already know a lot of them, so I feel like I'm repeating a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Um, this pops off, and I have another one of these in there, oh, maybe, really? if you would get it. That'd be awesome. So I also am gonna roll on the next color, and thank you, somebody typed in the code. Awesome, MRS209, a white one. There's a white sure. one maybe, like that one, just like that the other one I had, it should be. Um, yeah, I've got Cameron up here tonight. She's 12 and she's hanging out in the shop. Um, do I find you? I'm not on YouTube, not yet, no. Maybe at some point down the road. Um, yeah, I got my roller at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I also got this little one at Lowe's. You can get it at Lowe's over in the paint department. Um, and maybe I don't have another little foam roller. This is what the other foam roller that I've used looks like too. So I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. And it doesn't, um, no, it doesn't fit on this one. Those are the black ones, I think. Okay, that's okay. There's some more. All right, thank you. Um, I need to get my roller. The roller does do a really good job, you guys. Um, and it's, it's just a dense, it's a heavier, dense roller. Um, I thought I had more of those white ones, but I guess I don't. So they were looking in the closet for me. I just made a welcome sign and used the small fall stencils for the accents. Yes. So also, once you start building your supply of stencils, um, you can totally uh, mix and match your stuff. So that's the beauty of it too. Um, I do seal my boards after I get done. Um, if, if they're gonna go outside on your porch or out in even in a covered area in the elements. Um, oh, you got one, good, thank you. I do have one, so I can use that one for my next letter. Um, awesome, there's two more. So um, I seal it usually with this. I remember to set it out tonight. Uh, Mod Podge, you can use this. Um, I also have used um, Thompson's Water Sealer. You can buy that in a spray or you can buy it um, also in a big jug and a little goes a long way. So um, yes, any craft store or home improvement store you can do. So um, I'm gonna move on and those of you that were watching me do that roller technique, um, I'll do the makeup sponge in just a little bit. I love the roller technique. I've actually never heard about rolling on paint on a stencil. You're gonna love it. You really will. Um, it's uh, definitely, like I said, it's kind of, um, 
not so um, time consuming is what I would say. And it, it's good for classes. So if you are doing a group, um, I think people seem to be able to pick up the roller a little bit easier than maybe the brush method. So uh, the brush method, I would tell you to get out your stencils and just practice and try the different techniques with your brush, either stippling or, um, you know, swirling. Um, I've, I've seen people who have taken the brushes and even just kind of painted. I haven't done that, but there's, you know, whatever works for you that you get um, the, less, the less bleeding or the least bleeding, I guess is how you would say that, um, you know, that you like. So, uh, not used to seeing you with your hair down. I know, I look different with my hair down. I usually have my hair in braids or I have a hat on. So um, today is just one of those days. It happens to be down. So hopefully some of you recognize me with my hair down. I, I think somebody didn't last time. So um, you can see here, again, I probably just put out too much paint. I do that sometimes too, but I may have to do two coats with this paint, I'm not sure. But I have rolled out my paint and if you're not sure, how much um, paint you have on there. Just take a take a quick roll across your plate and you can kind of see where you're at with your roller. And if you need to load a little bit more paint, just pull a little bit more out. And you'll just start rolling on lightly and go over your letter, just like you I did up there. You can do a light coat if you're unsure the very first time that you're stenciling. Um, it takes a little bit of pressure and you can kind of play around with that as you start rolling. And somebody did say, yeah, you're right. Time is important if you are, if you're doing classes or if you're trying to make money using these stencils. Um, you don't want to spend, you know, a full two to three hours on your own project that you're trying to sell. If you can speed up production, um, it definitely cuts down the time you have in your project that you're trying to sell. So it is It is a good, this is a good one for those of you that are trying to maybe make some porch boards to sell this fall. So how would you fix a bleed? How would I fix a bleed? Bucky says somebody asked, how would I fix a bleed? I would probably tell you, we'll see if I have any tonight on here. Um, if it is something that is really, really bothering you, um, you're gonna, I guess maybe you get out a little tiny brush. You can get the little tiny brushes at um, the craft stores. This isn't my littlest one, but I think um, I've got some little ones that are really pointy, kind of like a, a pencil. And um, you know, just get a little fine tipped one and go around it and see um, if you can just take a little bit of paint and smooth it out. Um, a lot of times too, I have found that if you take a baby wipe or an alcohol wipe, um, like a disinfectant wipe, sometimes you can, if it's if your paint is still a little bit damp, you can kind of smooth it out with that too, or a Q-tip works too. I've, I have seen people do the Q-tip. I haven't done the Q-tip. So that is something that you can keep in mind for the bleeding. Um, I've got that one done. Love the colors. Definitely try the roller. You can see how fast I did those two compared to the brush. So I am going to take the brush and I'm going to show you, whoops, I'm going to knock stuff off first, but I'm going to show you that you can, I'm going to go back over this A just because I want to and I wanna make it a little bit more bold. So I did leave that, and I'm gonna make sure I don't have hardly any paint again on my brush. And I'm just gonna come on here, and I'm gonna swirl my brush around. Like that. Just lightly swirl, and a steady hand helps. It does, Randy, you're right. You are right. It helps to just go slow, take your time, um, put a little bit of pressure on the brush. And the other method that somebody was mentioning is this method where you just go up and down. So you can pounce up and down on your stencil too if you like that method. 
So all I'm doing right now is darkening that A up just a little bit um, because I want it to be as bright as my other colors. And I kind of did a light um, coat with my brush because I don't use the brushes that much, honestly. Um, I know Bucky prefers the brush. He liked using the brush whenever he stenciled. And um, I don't mind the brush. I just, I like the roller method, to be honest. So there's that one. I'm gonna leave that there. Yes. How many times can the stencils be used? Whew, you know, somebody asked me that the other day. And I would say until they fall apart. Um, they are, very sturdy, very durable. You've had some years, two years. I Has it been two years? I think so. Oh yeah, maybe I have had my welcome ones, maybe almost two years. I'm trying to remember when I first ordered. Um, yeah, I bet it is about two years, maybe. I don't, I don't know for sure, I would have to look. Um, but they are, uh, oh hi, hi Donna, I'm glad you found me. Thanks for watching. Um, as many times, yeah, you just want to you just want to take care of them. You want to wash them, and you want to um, just make sure that you're cleaning them and putting them back so that they're not going to get damaged. Um, I know some people lay them flat. I stack mine in a in a box so that they're they're stacked kind of horizontal, my long ones and stuff. So um, that's something that definitely uh, you can uh, see what works for you that way too. But um, these are so. Yeah, honestly, I think I've had some of them for two years. So they are reusable. Um, do you risk bleeding more with the circles versus dabbing or the roller? Um, I would say that the the best risk for bleeding, and, and that's what everybody, you know, tries to avoid, of course, is to not have the bleeding on the um, underneath the stencils. You, if you are using a thin paint, um, it's more likely to run underneath your stencil. If you are using a lot of paint, it's more likely to come off of whatever you're using and go under that stencil. So um, I would say that uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I have probably, I would probably say I have less bleeding using the roller, honestly. Um, since I've started using the roller on my bigger, on my porch board signs. I would say I have less bleeding. So um, that is something to keep in mind and to try. Um, I hang my stencils with pant hangers. Oh, I've seen somebody do that too before. That's a good idea on a hanger with the, the little hooks. Um, how often does essential stencil come out with new stencils? Uh, I actually don't really know. I'm expecting that they're gonna come out with some for Christmas. So, hi Teresa, hello, hello. Yes, definitely, if you've tried the rollers, um, let me see some hearts. If, you've, if you love the rollers and you've used them, um, show us some hearts that you've, you like them. Um, and thank you guys all for sharing good advice with each other, you're, so, you're usually so nice to, to give each other advice. So this purple that I'm getting ready to use is called Dark Plum. The rollers are replaceable, so yes, they pop off. You can buy just a package of these little rollers by themselves too. So um, definitely you can use that um, or buy a, just that if you get the little rollers themselves. These do pop off and on and then um, they go into the water and I can just wash them. So um, I am gonna soak up a little bit of that paint. I'm gonna kind of roll it out a little bit and make sure my roller's loaded with it and it's all kind of distributed there. You can kind of see. And then I'm gonna do my U. And I think that um, if you are, uh, if you haven't used the roller before, I think you're gonna like it. So I saw a lot of hearts coming through there. I think a lot of people like the rollers, um, especially for the larger stencils, for sure. If you've got, the bigger welcome stencils and, and the vertical boards, uh, the rollers work really well for those. And um, I don't wanna repeat myself, but they, you know, they're just as simple, I think, to use as and clean up as your brush. So they wash the same, um, you just have to get all the paint out of them and they are reusable too. I hope they come out with a smaller buffalo. 
Yes, Carla, Essential Stencil, also they don't have um, any rollers uh, right now. I'm hoping that they will at some point have some rollers. So we will see if, um, if they come out with that. But um, I know that after I told them that I really liked mine, they I think are considering maybe making some rollers. So I'm hoping for that to happen too. So love the plum and the blue. Oh, thank you. I was trying to do something different. And um, I think that the Hello Autumn is something that will just, uh, it's just different than all of the, um, the fall boards or the Happy Fall Y'all or Hello Fall. Those are really popular and I like those a lot. But um, the Autumn I think seems to get overlooked sometimes. Um, so I just, I wanted to use that one tonight and show you guys that, you know, you can make it last, of course, all fall. You could put this out anytime, just like your fall ones, but I think it's super cute and it's just different. I don't think you see it a lot. So, um, I, I don't know. I just like that. So I wanted to do that one. Essential sense, oh, they have a roller? That's somebody just said Someone that said they, they have a roller. Oh my, well heck, shows you what I know. If they have a roller, I hadn't seen it, so I'll have to find out. Um, <laughs> that would be, that would be funny. Someone I, just said that. I really okay. hope that they do have a roller. Wow, that would be amazing. Okay. So I have the next color, it's terracotta, and I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna lift my board up, and I'm gonna show you guys the makeup sponge on this letter. So it doesn't take very much here either. If you haven't used a makeup sponge, this is what I have. I get them at Dollar General, and they look just like this. And you use the end of them right here. And I just offload that as well. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to pull this color. This color is called terracotta. And I'm just going to pull it out here. And I'm going to um, offload my paint. And then I'll just start pouncing this up and down like this. Just slowly around the edges. But I don't have very much paint on there. So again, if you can see what I'm doing, um, Hopefully you can. I'm gonna pull this a little closer and see if that helps at all. Um, that might help a little bit. Can you guys see that? Um, so I'm just gonna offload my paint right here and I'm gonna go over. This is how you use the makeup sponge. Um, love to try roller. That's what we use our makeup sponges. Someone said my video is stuck. I'm sorry if it's stuck. Um, I think the first time I went to use the makeup wedges, I thought you used this long side until I watched somebody. I didn't know that you used the end of it and that works way better than trying to use the side. So that's what I'm doing on this. And you can see why I say to use the, um, the makeup sponges on the smaller stencils because it does take a little bit of time um, whenever you're filling in large spaces to kind of get an even coverage because you kind of have to keep going back over it. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more paint and try to cover this area and we'll see how it turns out in just a little bit. We're almost done with the word autumn. Thank you. Um, someone said that I like the colors. I bought, I thought the terracotta would look more orange. You know, it's, I did too, but it's, that's what it is. It's Anita's craft paint and it's not really orange. It's just this really dull, almost um, dull brown kind of color, golden brown, I guess. I don't really know. Kind of a pumpkin color. Yeah, maybe kind of a pumpkin pie color, maybe more so. So I'll hold it up and show you guys as soon as I get some of it. I get them all off of there. We'll look at the colors up close and you can see how they look. Um, I'll also show you the back of this board that I'm doing because it has um, the spooky on it. If you guys haven't seen the stencil, um, they have one that is spooky and I totally glittered it last time and I finally finished it because somebody had suggested to get some um, black glitter 
for the spiders. So I, I did and I glittered them, bl them black. So mine bleeds more with the makeup sponge. Betty, um, I would tell you to make sure you don't have very much paint on it whenever you're doing it. So um, you can see every time I kind of go back into my paint, I'm not going over here to pick up paint. I'm going still out here in this part to pick up paint. And I'm gonna pounce it off and make sure that I don't, I just have minimal paint on there. So someone said, can you check to see, I don't know if essential stencil is on, but I don't, I don't know if they have a roller that's new. So um, I know that we had, they had talked about it. So um, we will have to check. I don't know if uh, you can't go to their site right now and check no, probably. No. He might lose his video feed if so. Um, I'm only one man. <laughs> <laughs> He's only one man, he said. I'm going to try that the next time I'm doing 500 things. I'm only one woman. I don't think it works for women. <laughs> cool idea with the glitter. Um, yeah, if you have the spooky stencil, um, the glitter, I will show you. I outlined it in glitter too. And I was actually going to show you guys a quick tip tonight on outlining. Um, if you get done with your letters and you want to add something to them, you can always use a Sharpie to outline them. So you can get Sharpies in all kinds of colors and all kinds of thicknesses of the pins themselves, like the points um, of the, you know, the width of the um, the pen or the the tip and stuff, so you can use a um, you can use a sharpie. I'm hot. It's hot in here. We turned off our air conditioner because um, you can hear it whenever we're in here in my videos. So I tried to turn it off. Do you stain or paint the edges of your boards? Um, I, if I paint my board, I usually kind of just dry brush paint it. If I stain them, yes, I will stain the edge of it tonight. My board is just um, just a plain, raw, unstained board that I'm using from our sawmill. A oh, man's got to do what a man's got to do, and a woman has to do what he can't. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. I could not find any rollers on Essential Stencil. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. What size board are you using? We're using a five foot board tonight um, and it's about 11 inches wide. So, I think I've about got this one covered, but you can see how long it took me to do this one. Someone said they don't carry them anymore. I'm not sure if they had them. If they did have them, I didn't, I was never aware of it. So um, I think that's just something we're gonna have to watch for. And if I ever see that they have some rollers definitely come out, we will be showing them off for sure. Um, I've got that one done and you guys can see how long it took um, me to do that. So it took a little bit longer with the roller for sure. I mean, longer with this and the brush than it does with the roller. So, um, the other tip for these, let me show you this. This is always a good tip. You've probably seen this, but once you're done with this makeup sponge, you can just cut this end off and you can use it again. So you have a clean end and you can keep going and going and going. So until you get down to just this little part, I've sometimes if I'm using several colors, um, I will just keep cutting it off and use the next one, cutting it off and use the next one, cutting it off and keep going. And, and that way I don't even have to use, you know, like four of these for four different colors. I can just use the same one. So that's a good, good tip. Okay. No, there are no um, rollers on Essential Stencil yet. So hopefully at some point there will be. So I've got one more color to do, and um, I'm gonna have to use a brush. So I'm gonna use a medium-sized brush. Where is a link to order? Um, Lisa, there's a link um, in at the top of the video. Um, I have 
a link that you can go to or you can go to EssentialStencil.com and you can use my code MRS2019 for a 10% discount. So you can order um, at EssentialStencil.com. You can also click my link in the top of the video and you can um, follow that link if you wanna save 10% and you wanna order something. Uh, it doesn't have to just be tonight. You can order tomorrow or the next day or the next day. I think you can use my link about any time if you are wanting to order. So keep that in mind for those of you that are trying to collect some stencils from Essential Stencil. So the last color I have right here is, thank you, Danielle, for putting that code in, um, is the green. So I'm going to put this olive green on. And this is also Anita's. I have a lot of Anita's craft paint. So... Um, I get that at Hobby Lobby and I'm using the medium size brush. So this is a little different color. I don't, I don't know if I've ever actually even used this, but it's called Olive. I got my sister stenciling now. Sweet. You guys like my colors? Thank you. I was debating on what colors to use and, um, I couldn't decide on on some so I just kind of thought oh so funny to watch you screw on the lid backwards you know I every time tonight actually you guys we thought I thought that I had it figured out but I think the truth is I just my phone is old um, and I'm too old to have a new phone so I don't I don't want a new phone um, I, I know it would be nice for my stuff to not be backwards but we cannot, um, we can't switch it. I have tried and I have tried and I have tried. And um, I figured out how to switch my pictures and I figured out how to, um, you know, switch it just through my camera. But whenever I go to Facebook, I'm still not able to switch it. So um, yeah, you guys like my colors. I'm so glad that you like those color choices. I was, I was unsure of using the blue and throwing that one in there. Um, I just, I just wasn't sure whether to do all different letters, colored letters or not, but I thought that might be kind of fun and something different. Um, Julie, these are our personal, personal boards. Um, we uh, have a sawmill business, so if you would like to check out our page, um, we are Miller's Rustic Sawmill on Facebook. That's our business page. And if you uh, want to learn more about our business there, uh, you can definitely go to our page, like our page, and um, follow us on Facebook. Um, I do go live on my page sometimes for our sawmill business. And um, I don't, I haven't had a lot of time lately to go live on, on there, but I, I do. We have a lot of stuff going on on our Facebook business page. And um, if you're interested in that, you can follow us there and you can message me there if you have other questions. So feel free to reach out and um, if you need help with something or you are, have a question about something I've used, um, you can always uh, message me on my page, on our Facebook page at Miller Trustic Sawmill. So um, the apple barrel paint, yes, the blue is apple barrel, Gina. Um, I will try to send a list out or have essential stencils send out a list to you guys of the colors so if you are interested in um knowing the colors that i had going on tonight um you can definitely type in list in the comments and that way um, essential stencil will know who gets the list and who doesn't care about the list so somebody said my nails are pretty tonight i painted that <laughs> <laughs> my nails usually look horrible and it's because we own a sawmill business and usually because I'm doing a million things other than painting my nails. So I don't always have time to paint my nails. I like my nails to look nice, but they hardly ever look nice. So thank you for noticing because um, hardly ever do I have time to paint them, it seems. But I did last night. So yes, my video, my other videos, I, I couldn't even tell you what my nails look like because I probably didn't even take time to notice. But, um, list, yep, there you go. Okay, yep, if you would like the list, definitely type list in the comments and we'll see if Essential Stencil can get a list out once I get them a list. So I will let them know the colors that I used tonight and I know that they send out the links. Um, 
I like the sign and we'll add it to my wish list. Penny, awesome. Fellow lefty. Oh, I look like I'm a lefty. I'm not a lefty. It's backwards, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, right now, I'm just going back over this olive green color a little bit more um, so that I can darken it up a little bit. And we're gonna call that part good. So I used another brush. I think I just used the three quarters and this is, was another brush that I used from their set. They come in a really nice set. So um, green is amazing, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of this part off and we're gonna look at that. I still have the hello to do up at the top but um, we'll go ahead and take a look and see how these all look. So this is the fun part. And um, I will just lay that over there for right now. Do you ever use chalk paint? Um, I do have some chalk paint and I like the chalk paint. Um, I'll show you, uh, usually if I get a chalk paint, it's usually the Waverly brand and it, I can get it at Walmart. I like their colors. I like the paint. I have used um, this kind of paint. Um, they have a really pretty red that I really like. So um, you can get that at Walmart. And um, I don't know that Hobby Lobby has Waverly. I usually find it at Walmart and they just have really good colors. So it is a pretty chalk paint. I like the, t the thickness of it. And um, so there is my board. And you can see, I will show you, up close, um, stand up. I have a little tiny bit of bleeding around that red up there. And I did the red with the roller. There's my blue I did with the roller. And my purple I did with the roller. This is the one I did with the makeup sponge. And then I did the in with a brush. So my bottom and top letter um, are both done with the brush. And um, I haven't done the hello yet. So let me see. Let me move my chair. If you guys can see it, you can see how that looks. And I still have to do the hello part. Um, I'm just going to pull out one of those colors. I think I'm going to use the purple on the hello. Um, I think I, I'm just going to go ahead and use purple on that. Um, while I have this up though, I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to show you um, my spooky board. So this is the spooky stencil and you can see all of my glitter. I glittered the spiders with black glitter and I also did um, the spider webs with gray paint and then I used Mod Podge. I just Mod Podged over the gray paint after it dried and I shook a bunch of glitter on there. So um, that one turned out super cute. I also went around it with the, my letters with some Mod Podge and, and like a copper glitter. So it turned out pretty cute. So that was the one I did a few weeks ago, you guys, if you can see that. Um, it, it's fun. And um, the other side of it is what I did tonight. So you could have a nice fall board for um, Halloween and then also for the whole autumn parts of, you know, fall, whatever. Um, but there is, there's my colors for tonight and I'm gonna pop it back up here. Um, I've got glitter still coming off of it, I see. But um, we'll lay it back down and I'm gonna go ahead and stencil my purple on the hello. Um, the, the copper that I did on here, you guys, you can see around there, I took, I simply took, um, a small paintbrush and I took a little bit of Mod Podge. So, um, I just did, you know, mm, maybe a brush kind of like this. And I just, uh, went around my letters with my, like a line of glue. I didn't do it super neat. And, um, and then I just shook the glitter on there. So it, it did turn out super cute. I was excited for that one. And um, the Mod Podge is, I think, the way to go. I have taken my stencils before 
and stenciled um, paint and then I've shook glitter right over the stencil and the glitter is not always so fun to get off of your stencil um, and I also find that the Mod Podge seems to hold it on there much better than just paint so that is the tip too if you're going to use glitter on your board do your painting and then uh, get out your Mod Podge and decide where you want your glitter to go and use a little brush to apply your Mod Podge and then shake your glitter on so that is that's a good tip um, also, I was talking earlier about um, outlining um, your letters. So if you decide that you want to outline something, um, remember that you can get Sharpies uh, in every color. So you can always get um, a Sharpie that's either a fat Sharpie, you know, a wider one um, like that. This is a wide tip. Um, and it's got the chisel tip. You can get the small ones. You can get um, different permanent markers in different colors. So that's something that you just wanna keep in mind if you are wanting to add something else to your board without painting it. So um, the code for 10, the 10% 10 off is MRS2019. So I think that it's in the comments a few times if you need to scroll there it is MRS 2019 and you'll put that in um, whenever you're ordering or you can also just scroll up to my link whenever uh, the video ends um, it's in the header and the title of my video so um, so the outside part with the glitter if you were going to seal that I would seal um, I would still seal it with probably Thompson's water sealer um, you can get it in a spray. That's what I would I would do. Um, I, I we use the Mod Podge. You can use the Mod Podge too. I think for more outdoor stuff, I would probably recommend um, something similar or something like the Thompson's water sealer. And you can get it in a spray or a brush on. So, um, Tammy, you're new to watching. Well, thank you for watching. Um, you're hopping on at a good time because. I'm almost done, and what happens whenever I'm almost done is we get to give away some stencils. So I'm gonna finish up my hello, and you can see I'm using the roller because it's my go-to. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna just do my hello in, in the purple because I just, I like the purple. I think it covers well, and it just, I think it, it'll look good. So I'm gonna use the purple on this board. And then I'll have the two-sided porch board. Cindy, you said I got here before you finished. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad. Thanks for hopping on. I don't know what time it is where some of you are. I know that there's time differences for, for most of us. We are in the Midwest, and um, it's probably 9 o'clock, I'm guessing. 9.13. 9.13, it's after 9. So it's not super, I'm not on two hours yet. But... Um, that can always happen. Um, do you You're not done yet. <laughs> further roller to anything else? Um, I really, I think that probably nine times out of ten, if I'm using a bigger stencil, I do prefer the roller. Um, it's kind of what I tend to pick up if I'm going to stencil something. It's usually, um, you know, it, it's either that or um, I, on the like the mini stencils and stuff, I use the makeup wedges a lot on those. So that's something to just keep in mind and as the size of your stencils can get a little tricky. And sometimes um, if you've got such a small space, you end up sometimes needing, you know, just the truck stencil. If any, if you, any of you have that truck stencil, um, it's a little bit trickier to stencil because there's a lot of smaller spaces. And so these makeup wedges can get into some really small spaces so that's something that is very helpful and um the roller just seems to i think speed things up i know that um i like the i think that the brushes are really good for um like different techniques of like color blending or adding some other elements to your design if you're gonna use the brushes i think that they allow for a little bit more um play with your paint and the the coverage um with the roller it's kind of you know 
it would be kind of hard to do a um, like an ombre look or something. I think you would want to use a brush for something like that. So I think it just depends on what your project is and what you're what you're doing and what you're what you want to use. So the roller, um, it's a it's probably my favorite just because um, a lot of times I don't feel like I have a lot of time to stencil something. And I do like the fact, I, it seems for me that I have less bleeding with the roller. So there's my two cents on that. Um, I work at Dollar General. Oh, I love Dollar General. Um, we have a lot of the truck stuff. Yes, the truck stuff is really cool. So um, yeah, I don't think that Essential Stencil has the rollers yet. We checked that out. I think Cameron looked. No, no. there was nothing on I mean, there. there was so. other people on here. Um, what texture brush is on the roller? Um, this is just, um, it's just a heavy dense roller is what this is. It's just a foam roller and it's more of a thicker, um, roller. It's not a real flimsy one or a soft one or anything like that. So not a fan of apple barrel paint, she says. Um, you know, I have never had any problem. I would say a lot of my paints are Apple Barrel and I just pick up um, what I can at Hobby Lobby, usually whenever they are on sale or even in Walmart, just the different craft paints. I do like the chalk paint and I would say if you are someone who's having um, some trouble with bleeding, um, maybe try a chalk paint. Sometimes um, the chalk paints are a little bit thicker and sometimes a thicker paint might um, be a little easier for somebody who's just new to stenciling um, to use. So that's definitely good advice. Um, the chalk paints are nothing to be afraid of. Um, does the roller cause some bleed through? Uh, any of the techniques will cause bleed through. It just depends on um, if you have very much paint on your whatever it is that you're using. So if you're using a makeup sponge and you have a lot of paint on there, you're gonna get bleed through. Um, I got a little bit of bleeding on my red letter and I used the roller um, and it just might've been because I didn't roll out my paint enough on there. Um, I, I don't think that there's any such thing sometimes as like a perfect uh, stencil. Um, you can get pretty close I think sometimes too, but the biggest tip is to just not have very much paint on whatever it is that you're using. So, um, thank you, Kimberly. It's a nice color. So there's my hello. And I just did that while I was sitting here. The plum is a really pretty fall color. I do clean and reuse the rollers. I wash them um, in the sink and um, they clean up really easily. I just run some water through them. I soak them. Um, put some Dawn dish soap on them and squeeze them out until they kind of run clear. So I do that. These signs? Someone asked about that? Uh, the signs behind you. Oh, it's <laughs> October witches. Yeah, I did that one. I don't even know. I did, that was one of the first fall ones I think that I did actually. Yeah. So that was a fun one. October witches is what it says and I haven't done the other side yet so I'll figure out what to put on the other side uh, you can pick up a roller at Lowe's um, Walmart probably has some sponge rollers um, Walmart Lowe's Hobby Lobby any of those stores like that I'm sure you can find a foam a dense foam roller so uh, thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thanks for watching um, we get to give away some stencils tonight. Yes. So we are going to give away the autumn stencil that I used tonight. So um, if you are a first time watcher um, and you are still on and you've hung out with us long enough for the winners to be announced, um, whenever I say your name, if you are a winner, we are gonna need you to comment um, your email address and if you can uh, maybe put that you're a winner and um, put that in the comments and Essential Stencil will contact you. Uh, they will need your shipping address and um, it will be the Hello Autumn. You will win that one tonight. 
Um, sometimes um, we get to do your pick or whatever it is, you know, that I'm doing. And tonight I'm doing the Hello Autumn. So that's the one that we're giving away. So we get to pick three lucky winners. And um, Stacy, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, first time I watched you. Oh, someone said I love the witch sign. <laughs> I'm just reading some comments here before we give some stuff away. First time watcher, thanks for your tips. Jennifer, thank you for watching. Um, Roxanne, thank you, thank you. Love essential stencils. Good luck, everyone. Love this project tonight. I did the Hello Autumn. Um, I just thought it was one that sometimes I think people forget that they have. Um, the Happy Fall, y'all, is pretty popular, I know. And um, I think some of the Halloween ones are pretty popular, but the Hello Autumn's gonna take you all the way up to Christmas and into November. And you do something fun on the backside for Halloween, you've got you know two seasons covered right there. So um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all of the likes. I'm just taking the tape off my stencils. Um, I have one little different one this time. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I didn't see what she said. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, so if you're new tonight too, I'm just gonna preface this by saying, didn't know anyone did live first time watching. Oh, thank you for being a first time watcher. There were a lot of first time watchers on here. So to you first time watchers, I want to tell you, um, we are on Essential Stencils page tonight. My name is Melissa Miller. And I am with Miller's Rustic Sawmill in King City, Missouri. And if you want to follow our page um, or learn more about our business or you have some questions about anything I did tonight, you can message me on our page and you can follow some of the things we have going on with our business there. But I also want to tell you, if you are ordering from Essential Stencil, you're first of all going to love their stencils. Um, you're going to love their brushes. So you're gonna love anything that you get from them. They are a great husband-wife company as well, and they are here in the United States, and um, they are a small business. I love that about them too. Um, so their packaging, their products, everything is fantastic. So it's great quality, reusable stencils. You are going to um, love them, and if you're looking for something to help your business grow or your crafting grow, um, your sales, or to do some paint parties, this is the company that's going to work great for you. So you're going to find a lot of things that you need that can help you at an affordable price. Um, also, if you are ordering, you want to make sure you use my code. My code is MRS2019, or you can go to the link um, at the top of this video, and you can um, also go there and order. I'm looking at my hair. Um, <laughs> it's all jacked up. Um, but you can use that link and that will save you 10% by going through that link too. So uh, I do want you to know that it's not just good tonight. If you decide to order tomorrow or the next day or the next day, you can use my code and you can save yourself 10% whenever you order. So um, the other thing I want you to know is that my husband is the one that picks the winners. And my husband's name is Bucky. And a lot of comments in here tonight you might have seen um, I, I can't read all of them while they're going on, but um, he, uh, I, we always joke about people um, kissing his butt <laughs> whenever he is choosing the winners. So it's been a joke for anyone that's new on here. A lot of times the ones that watch us um, every time will say, you know, oh yeah, we gotta, you know, you gotta be nice to Bucky to win. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, so we, we, have, we have a good time with that. So um, if you see his name and you see people commenting Bucky, that would be why, because they're trying to kiss his butt so that they can win. <laughs> and if they're saying really, really nice things, <laughs> um, then uh, that's why too. And I think they kind of like him. So um, anyway, that's just a disclaimer because um, one of the, <laughs> one of the, uh, thank you, Jan. Thank you. Thank you. And Alita, you're a first time watcher. Blame it on Bucky. I do get to blame it on Bucky because I don't have to pick the winners. And I'm glad because there's no way I could talk, paint, 
um, try to answer questions and pick winners because I know I don't see everything he sees. But um, anyway, um, go go Bucky like the Wisconsin Badgers. <laughs> see, now you're getting all kinds of kissy faces like butt kissing. That is funny, you guys. See, if you don't win, it's Bucky's fault. That's right. I get to blame him. And nobody's mad at me. Brandon, um, you're on the naughty list. <laughs> and I know someone said last time, he thinks that he, you can't always hear him in the background. And somebody said, I can always hear him in the background and the, the smart comments that he makes sometimes. So, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. Um, so tonight, um, Bucky, Bucky, I'm, I'm feeling lucky. lucky. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, he did pick a butt kissing winner tonight. <laughs> so just so you know, this is a first on our lives. I thought, man, he's, uh, he really has picked somebody. So, um, the butt kissing award stencil, free stencil goes to... I hope she's on here. My gosh. She will. Um, Sherry Shreves. Vina, if you're on here, your right name. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> See? There you go, Sherry. It worked. Whatever you said. I don't know what you said. And thank you, Sherry. <laughs> um, but you are the butt kissing winner tonight. Um, Sherry Shreves Vina. So you're going to want to comment winner and your email address in the comments. So that is butt kissing winner number one. So we probably just started something for the rest of our lives, which will work well for those of you who would like to win the butt kissing award. So we're just going to keep going. Um, let me see who else he has. Um, Jody Canada. What a cool name. I like that. Jody, are you on? Um, and Sherry, did you hear me say that you're the butt kissing winner? I think you should be proud of that. Um, you will win a free stencil tonight. Um, who else? Who else did I say? Jody Canada, are you on? <laughs> Lacey yeah. said, well, I'm out. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I see enough of you, Lacey. Sherry Shreves Vina. I think it's hyphenated possibly. There you are. Yeah, that's you. You won the butt kissing award tonight. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. Awesome. You're, you are the first. And I think that you should uh, definitely, we'll have to mark that down. So that's the first butt kissing award. Um, so you are a winner. And then I said, did we see Jody Canada on here? Congratulations, butt kisser. I know, I know. Congratulations, butt kisser. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Um, and the other winner, where is she? Winning, winning butt kisser. I know, she should be proud, right? She should be so proud. Anyone who, now you're going to just watch us to see who wins that award. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I'll never win. I'm not a butt kisser. Good, good for you, Sherry. Good for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Alessandra, that's so true. Um, I need, the comments are just cracking me up. I need to learn how to kiss my butt. Well, Sherry can help you out. Let's see what she did. <laughs> oh, Sherry, it's the first time you've ever won. Congratulations. Well, I'm excited. That's awesome. You will win. Um, <laughs> you Jody will win. Yeah. Oh, Jody, you're on too. Awesome. I didn't see her. I hadn't seen it yet. Yay, Jody. You'll want to put your winner and email in the comments. Say, I'm a winner, and then put your email in the comment with it. So, um, <laughs> Randy, I need a butt kisser stencil. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's hilarious. Awesome, you guys. And I've got one more. I do have one more. Um, Jill Carlucci, you are a winner tonight. Um, I think you're still on. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope so. Jill Carlucci, if I said it right, you are also a winner tonight. Um, it's C-A-R-L-U-C-C-I is how you spell the last name. And it's uh, first name is Jill. Um, do we get pictures for butt kissing? 
Well, I don't know what kind of pictures you're talking about, Teresa. <laughs> um, congrats to all the winners. That's right. The laughs are great to the end of, yeah, that's a great way to end the evening. And we hit 502 viewers. Oh, that's that a first. Awesome. I think that might be a first. That so is a first. You guys that shared and um, liked it and sent it out there, um, f that helps so much. It helps our video. It helps Essential Stencil. It helps also our business page. So if you don't like um, Miller's Rustic Sawmill on Facebook, go follow us over there and you can learn more about us and our business over there. You can check out the kind of wood that we have. You can see what we do at our business. Um, and you know, you can, this is also just, uh, a part of how essential stencil has helped our business to grow too. So a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. <laughs> Anything for a stencil, right, Sherry? <laughs> thank you guys. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully Jill Carlucci. I hope you're on. I hope you see that you are a winner. I will try to put the, uh, winner's names in um in here also just for my records and for your records too <laughs> i'm 76 my butt kissing days are over <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good that's good well you good guys, night, guys thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out with us i know sometimes the lives go a little longer my face is red it probably is red <laughs> my neck is probably red i whenever i get flustered i get um I get hives, my neck gets red. Um, can you use these to make t-shirts real quick? Yes, you can use them. I think you just have to use fabric paint um, for your stencils. So I don't know why you couldn't use the stencils on fabric as long as you're using the right kind of paint for fabric. So um, yeah, that's it. If you Cameron, wanna order, Cameron, go say hi you wanna say hi? Do you want to come say hi? Step over there and say hi to everybody. This is our youngest. Come say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. That's Cam. <laughs> She's 12. Well, we'll be. We'll be 12, almost, almost 12. In October. She's 11. And so she's got a birthday coming up. All of our kids have birthdays. Um, Bucky has a birthday coming up, too. So the 30th. Yeah, his birthday's coming up. 35. Yeah. No, he'll, you're such a liar. He'll be he'll be 35, he says. He's lying. 45. But that's okay. Who won? I had to sign back in. Oh, Abby, um, Jill Carlucci won. Um, Jody Canada won. And Sherry Shreves Vina won. So that is um, 35 and holding. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we all, it's, uh, it's birthday, end of the year for our family. We all have birthdays from September on. So um, anyway, thank you guys for sharing. If you haven't shared, hi, Donna. Hi, hi. Thank you, guys. Um, Sherry, yes. I want you to um, put winner, comment winner, and then put your email. And that way Essential Stencil will know that um, you are one of the winners tonight too. Oh yeah, you wanna see the project I did? I can show you. I was away, you were away. I will show you how it turned out. Sandy, this is what we did tonight. And I know you guys, it's backwards still because um, I have an old phone and I cannot flip my camera around for Facebook. So until something changes with Facebook, my stuff's gonna be backwards. Um, because I'm kind of old school that way. I like my phone and I don't want to upgrade my phone. But um, this is what I did tonight. I just did every letter a different color for fall. And I tonight on my video, you guys, I did all of the different techniques. I did the roller, I did the brush, and I did the makeup, the makeup sponges. So there you go. And I did show, also if you were away, I showed the back side, which was my spooky board that I used on the back. And I did a lot of glittering on this. So if you're gonna use glitter, I suggest that you use some Mod Podge for your glitter. So get your painting all done, and then break out your, um, your glitter and your Mod Podge. And that's how you're gonna wanna do your glitter. Um, that's what I would suggest. So there's, there's my spooky. And my ghost is down here too. So, um, I just outlined my letters with glitter. And, oh, 
there's my board. So, oh Gina, goodness gracious. This would be a perfect board for you. You need one, you need one of those. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Sandy uh, says, do you have instructions somewhere? Um, instructions for the um, spooky sign um, there is a video on essential stencil and it shows the spooky um, so you can totally check out the video of my spooky on there and if you want this stencil you can order any time using my code you guys and save 10% so make sure um, that you use that if you're gonna go order so um, how long does it usually take for sold out stencils to be available again? Um, I don't know. It's usually, you know, it, it usually ends up not being a very long amount of time, I think. Sometimes it's a shorter amount of time than what I think it should be. So um, I really have no idea how long before they restock some, some of them. And no, it's not extra fine glitter. Um, it's just regular glitter on, on this board. Uh, the name of our business is, um, it's backwards I know, but it's Miller's Rustic Sawmill. And that is also in the header of my video title tonight too. So um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you for joining us. And um, thank you for the first time watchers and welcome to um, some of our videos. I hope you come back and watch again. Thank and you, um, we appreciate all of the likes, all of the shares, all of the comments, um, all of the interaction on Facebook. Um, we appreciate you guys joining us and watching, watching what we do. So thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Have a good week.